Hi everyone, happy Monday. And today I'm playing with this fun little uh, protea. I started one last night kind of playing and I thought they it looked so fun. And one of my subscribers here, one of you guys asked me if I could paint one of these. So I thought, well, let's play with that. I've always painted them closed. So I thought I'd play with trying to paint it um, a little bit more open. And uh, so this was just my little practice play. The colors I will use today will be, big shocker, right? My Quinn Magenta, no surprise there, but they are that color, so that and then I'll use a little bit of gold actually this is yellow cad yellow and this I'm going to use a lot lighter version on so I'll be using all the values of that and then of course as always I will use my um, couple different greens this is a tree green by my lane. And also, let's see. Um, this one is, one second here, trying to read there. Actually, this one is tree green. It's a little bit darker. And this one is a yellow green, which they, they to me, look really, really close. Um, they kind of resemble a sap green and a olive green in Windsor Newton, um, if you want that reference. And then I'll use like a, oh, maybe we will go with a burnt sienna for the branch. I have a little bit of green mixed in there. I kind of like that. So I think I'll use that for the branch. And I think we're good there. I like those colors. Okay, the brush strokes predominantly, almost everything in this is going to be done with, I'm using um, cold press, 140 pound by the way. Most of the brush strokes here are going, oh shoot, I put the back of my paper and it had some paint on it. That's my little drawing. Um, are predominantly going to be point, press, those type of um, shapes. So point, press, point, press, just like that. Using the tip of your brush, light, light pressure. And then as you drag it, point, pressing down more pressure. And I'll use one strokes like that. And then I'll also use two strokes. So one stroke, two stroke to complete the other side. And I think that will make up the majority of the brush strokes on this. There might be a few that are point, press, and not going to another point, maybe at the bottom of the protea. And, um, but I think everything else will, the leaves and the petals will be that basic compound stroke that you see there. Okay, and I'm using today my My Lang palette. I just love it. And, um, you know, with Windsor Newton being a little bit more pricey and I'm painting so much, I've been using that My Lang palette. So that's been working out pretty well for me. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be using my Velvet Touch Princeton round, which as you know, I love. I also have the Neptune, but the Neptune is a little bit softer and a little bit, Let's see if I can find it here. Where is it? My Neptune, Princeton Heritage, Princeton Neptune. So, oops, that's not the right one. All right, well, it's hiding right now, but my um, Princeton Neptune 8 round is a little bit 
fatter and a, um, holds a lot more water and isn't quite as springy, I think, as this one. So I really, I like the feel of the uh, brush as well, the velvet touch. All right, so I've got this drawing which um, I'm going to go off of. And if you're interested in this, um, just email me and I'll send you a copy of it. Um, it's one I kind of took a little bit from a photograph and I ad-libbed, added some leaves and things like that. I'll also uh, put it in my digital kit that um, you would get brush strokes, a swatch, the original, the drawing, supplies list, and it's $10 on Etsy and then you just download everything. Um, I did that because I was selling the original kit and was shipping it to you, but for those of you in Canada or out of the country, um, that wasn't working quite as well. So I've got available for you. I'm, I'm trying to really do my best to meet everybody's best ways of learning. So I've got these free YouTube videos, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I've even got a private Facebook group if you want to send me pictures and um, questions and things like that. I've got, of course, I do the workshops here in my studio and I do the privates one-on-one -on -one in person also via Zoom. Um, I just started two per month, uh, 60 to 90 minute Zoom classes for a maximum of five of you for $45. So I'm hoping wherever you're at and however you learn best, I'm able to support that for you. But lots of free stuff too, because I love sharing this. So um, going back to my supplies, I've got two containers. I've got one um, to rinse, one to wash, and what all of you are loving, my Mist Ceramics palette. Um, I'm happy to share her information with you if you're interested in that. I don't get anything from it. I just love her, and uh, she creates all my palettes for my workshops too, which are really fun. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with, I think um, what I want to do is start with this middle of the protea. Um, and typically a lot of times they're kind of white, but I am going to do mine with a tiny bit of pink or yellow in it. So right now I'm just wetting my brush and wetting this middle area. I'm making sure I don't have any pet, uh, puddles Oh, by the way, the paper I'm using today, I had a couple pieces. I typically use the Artisto pads, but I had a couple pieces of the um, Grumbacher, so I'm using those. Okay, so I'm going to go into my CAD yellow and somewhat of a tea consistency, kind of lighter value, just meaning more water than paint. And I'm going to go around and touch just here and there. And I'm just using this color because I like it. And I always am supporting you and inviting you to use the colors you like. Now with that, I might add in, just for fun, let's add in maybe a tiny bit of the My Lang Van Dyke Brown. See, too much water there. So I'm always saying, you know, tap off your brush, but you can also just tap it on a napkin or paper towel and get rid of that extra. And then I'm just gonna tap in around the edges, almost like a sunflower, just like that, and let that kind of spread. I think the protea actually have a little bit of green in them, so I'll add a little bit of that too. They're such pretty flowers. Honestly, I've never seen one in person. I'm thinking they might be native to maybe tropical areas like Florida or Hawaii. How fun would it be to do a um, workshop in Florida, right? 
maybe someday. Okay, so let's start now with these fun little petals. And going back to, they are mostly all going to be made with either two of the compound strokes, just a compound stroke meaning a thin and a thick, or some of them even one compound stroke. Okay, so I'm using my Quinn Magenta. No surprise there, right? My favorite color. And I'm gonna water it down a bit just to be a little bit lighter value. So I add a little bit more water. And let's start with our first one. And I'm not gonna be bothered by it getting a little wet on wet here with the green and brown and yellow. I'm not gonna worry about that. I kind of like that. So point press now i don't quite have enough water on there so point press point press and use the tip of my brush in the bottom now see i got a little bit of bleed but i don't care i'm i'm actually okay with that and a lot of times i am okay with that um in botanicals and flowers because I think it's kind of natural looking. I'm going to skip around a little bit, so I'll go to this one, just using the tip of my brush and the side, and just starting to, leaving some white spaces, color in some of these, and use a little bit different values. So here, point press, Point press, leaving a little bit of white to there. And let's go around the top here. Point press, point press. Again, leaving some of that um, white space in there. And if you don't like the puddles, just either pick it up or spread it around. So point press and just create these. And we're just really going to go in and start coloring these in. You can even play with wetting. Now I've got a little bit of color on there. Some of these areas, making sure no puddles. And then going in with the paint, just play with that a little bit. So a little wet on wet is fun too. There, I dried my brush off and just picked up a little bit. And then let's just keep going around. Make sure you're using all different values of paint, meaning darker, lighter, varying all of them. Point press. And I'm leaving white spaces between some leaves. Point press, just like that. Point press. So I'm really trying to get some different shades and have some interest, point press. So see how pretty that is? That's a darker one. Point press and leaving that white space in, be in between, okay? Point press so much movement when you leave those different variations of color point press and i left a white space there isn't that interesting and fun and let's just go over this one a little bit point press something like that so just kind of plain before these dry, I want to go in with my sap and my olive green here. Just pick up a little bit more of that. And go into this here because I want to let it spread with this pink. Okay, and I left little white spaces in there. Now I'm going to go wash my brush, rinse my brush and go back into that Van Dyke Brown, or you could use Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, any of the browns you like, and touch in and draw it down. 
just like that. Look at that beautiful bleed. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Kind of touching in and creating this view, these beautiful colors. Now I'm going to go back to my petals and let's keep going using darker values of that Quin Magenta, which just means there's more pigment than water. I barely tap off and if you think you have too much water just touch in point press also remembering point press to leave some white spaces in your leaves for that interest point press just like that okay look at how fun that is oh I love watercolors point press there we go so we've got all these wonderful mixes of color some are darker some are lighter oh so pretty point press like that point press leaving some white spaces in between let's just keep going point press like that isn't that lovely? Oh, point press. I'm using a lot of the tip and make sure you're always resting your hand because if you're trying to hold your hand up, I don't know if you're like me, but I cannot paint with my hand up. Point press, point press, leave a little white in there. Look at how beautiful this is turning out. Point press. Point press, leaving lots of little white areas. Let's do this one here, point press. Although I'm not pressing a lot here and see if, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got some puddling there. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to dip off and see how it picked up some of that puddle. There we go. And now if I want, I could go back in there and touch in with a little bit more color like that. So pretty. This is such a beautiful plant. I hope I continue to do it justice. Okay, I feel like I want one more here. Point press. So I'm just gonna add that in. And there we go. Look how pretty that is. Really, really pretty. Now let's go in with our petals, which are all gonna be that compound stroke. So point, press, pull, point, okay? So let me get some of my uh, sap green and my favorite olive green. I'm going to have to buy myself another My Lang palette pretty soon too, actually. And I'm going to start up here so I'm not, if I start here, I'll be putting my hand in it and I don't want to do that. So just using the tip of my brush, keeping my brush up and down because that's how you get the tip. And just point, point, press, bring to a point. And then let's even, before I do the other side, let's pick up a little bit, I think this would be fun, of this tree green and use that for the other side. Point press, look at how pretty that is. So point press, I'm incorporating the side of the brush, draw up and take to the point like that. And now let's pick up our Olive green, point press. And I'm even leaving a little white in that too. The other thing I think I wanna do is make the, I always think this is really pretty, to, I'm going into my, um, by the way, my Van Dyke Brown, which is actually like a raw umber, and I'm going to tap in and just create these little stems. Now watch how pretty when I go in with the green. So wash and rinse my brush, pick up some of that green, 
touch that while it's wet. Point, press, point, press, point, press, point, press, leaving a, some white spaces. Isn't that beautiful? It gets that brown in there, point press, just like that, going in with some olives. I just think it's so interesting. So I'm gonna go in with the browns again right here. So wash and rinse my brush, pick up um, that Van Dyke brown, which is a little bit darker than the Burnt Sienna. And I'm going to go in, let me get that a little bit wet. There we go. Tapping off my brush so I don't have too much water. Again, you can tap off here. And let's go in and create these stems. So using the tip, I'm holding down near the ferrule, just like that. And while those are still wet, wash and rinse my brush. And let's go in, point press, there we go, point press, just like that. And I might even, because I want that to bleed a little bit more, I might even touch, grab some of that brown and just touch in at the base there so I can get a little bit more of that spread. I think that's so pretty. And then let's just keep working around our painting. Just little points, just like that. Maybe this one here. And then going into the green and vary the intensity of that green. So using lighter shades, more water, less water. I'm using the side of my brush for that one. There we go. Just like that. And you can always leave these little gaps. Go into this one, different shape. So this, the, this um, little leaf is a lot rounder. This one here is gonna be a lot longer. Point, press, and flowy like that. Point, press, there we go. Now I might touch into that with my dark green, just for some fun interest. And then let's go into our brown. Oh, this is so fun, isn't it, you guys? I love this. This is the burned brown, my Ling. And create these little branches. And now I'll go into those Wash and rinse my brush, pick up that paint, and point, press. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's what I love. This, this blending there, so, so pretty. So I probably should have done that side before this side because now I have to go in and I don't have anywhere to put my hand. Um, I could turn this around if you don't mind. Hopefully I don't make anybody dizzy. And I'm going to draw on, paint on those brown stems. So here we go. Like this. And then we will go in with our beautiful tree green and olive green and just leaving some white, just like that. Okay, maybe use our olive green to just touch in. There we go, so pretty. Look at that, how beautiful. Let's keep going and finish off these leaves. Um, go in with my brown. There we go. And let's draw our stems. Let's see, that one got kind of wonky. There we go. Okay, now clean and wash my brush. Because we're cleaning and washing our brush so much, I almost feel like you could have 
um, two brushes here because I'm trying to kind of hurry so I can get that brown while it's wet. So like that kind of dried. So what I'll do is go in and touch in. Now I'm using a darker value here if you didn't notice that. So wash and rinse my brush, pick up some of the brown, touch in, touch in, touch in. And look at that, how pretty. Let's go ahead and finish these out. Let's see, I'm looking at it upside down. I think that's a leaf. Here's a stem. Kind of hard to see upside down. There we go. And now go into those with using a little of the side of my brush, but touching into that brown and just a lot of point and press here. And varying those values, meaning more water, less water. So some of these lighter ones look like they're in the distance or behind the background. Okay, look at that, how pretty. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go in here to create more interest and I'm gonna go in with a really dark value of this um, green that I'm using. And I want to add in a few more leaves that are going to be darker in value, meaning they're going to pop out. So point press. So look at that. See how that did that? Point press. There we go. Point press. So Adding in darker values, lighter values. Let's maybe make one right here. Point press, point press, like that. So those really pop out. Maybe one out here, point press, and different sizes. So you don't want them all to be the same size. And then I think I will add one more here. Point press, point press. And then I feel like I want some um, lighter ones. So let's do one coming out here, let's see. You kind of have to look and see where you see some gaps and then just add in that way. So I feel like there's a gap right here, point press. So I'll add one in right there. And look at how immediately that pushed back this petal underneath and this one popped out. That's really interesting for the eye. So what I'm gonna do now is just rinse my brush so that it's clean. And then I'm going to go into a very light watery value of that green. So see how light that is because it has so much water? And I'm gonna go in and create a couple really faint petals, leaves. So point, press, there we go. So that one looks like it's in the background. Point, press, there we go. How interesting is that? Let's do a couple here. I gotta be careful that I'm not putting my hand in places that are wet, which is a little tr difficult. Point press, point press. There we go. So that one's maybe peeking out a bit, just like that. Maybe one here that's very light. Point press, just like that. So see how it's creating this beautiful depth just with a lighter and darker shade. Let's do a couple of these, point press. There we go. How beautiful is that? And maybe one here. Point press. There we go. So, so pretty. Maybe some of these little berries here. 
So I think that's really beautiful. Now, what I feel like I want to do is go in and darken now that this is dried and add another layer of that Quinn Magenta, but a darker value. So I'm putting a little bit more of it in my palette here. Darker value, meaning more pigment. And I'm going to maybe darken this one. Point press. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Point press, just adding some interest. Point press, there we go. Point press, so, so pretty. Point press, there we go. So creating a lot of that push and pull. Now the other technique we can use here, which you've seen me use in other videos, is going in and using that push and pull technique. So I'm lining the tip of that with a dark value. Next, I'm rinsing and washing my brush, making sure it's just barely damp. And then I'm going to go in and just push and pull, just like that. And that brings that kind of gradient look. So let's try that again. Going in to just the tip. like that with the tip of your brush. Wash and rinse my brush and make sure it's just damp, not really wet. <coughs> Excuse me. And then push and pull that down. And look at how beautiful that is. That kind of adds some beauty to that. You can do it one more time here. You could even use a different color <coughs> that is wet hard for me to get up here because a lot of my painting is wet. So use to the dark value, wash, rinse my brush so it's just damp, and then pull that down, just like that. Isn't that fun? Okay, well, I think we've done enough here. I think this is really pretty. It's kind of crazy and busy, but I'm okay with that. I've used my lighter values to put some of those in the background. And I love this. Um, I've got one focal point, but I've kind of got three um, odd numbers here. So I've got this, which is coming out kind of like one V. Here's another V and then three. So it's really framing this flower. That was my intention behind this. Um, so I hope you give this a try. If you'd like that um, little kit with the drawing, it's all digital. Like I said, it's $10, but you get a swatch sheet, brush strokes, um, the drawing, and a, a image of the this original we just painted together. Um, that you can print it all out and or just email me if you just want the drawing whatever works for you just let me know and I think that's it everybody I hope you enjoyed this and I'm so sorry I can't remember who asked me to paint one of these um, but thank you that was a lot of fun and it was kind of paint fun painting an opened one I've only painted in the past a bud which we probably could have added in here too somewhere next time. <laughs> leave your white spaces and vary your leave sizes and shapes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, as always, so much fun and I will see you all soon.